Hi there, my name is Dr. LaSalle. I'm an anesthesiologist and an interventional pain management physician here at Hudson Medical. And today I'm gonna to talk to you briefly about uh, an exciting new t uh, treatment that we're offering called spinal cord stimulation or SCS. So essentially the way SCS works is that it takes advantage of um, an electrical current to modulate the, the pain nerves as they travel through the spine. So um, this, this treatment is worth considering for any patient that has tried injections, even surgery, and despite those interventions, are still having pretty disruptive symptoms. Um, at that point, it's uh, you know it's worth considering um, as a treatment for uh, pain in an extremity. Usually, this is done in the context of a clinical diagnosis called complex regional pain syndrome or CRPS, um, which is pain in an extremity. Um, but this is also very commonly performed uh, and offered as a treatment for patients that still have pain despite having had spinal surgery already. Um, there are some additional indications or reasons for pursuing this treatment um, in the pipeline um, that would uh, broadly expand this technology to a whole bunch of different patients. For example, those suffering from peripheral neuropathy related to diabetes or neck pain, um, or uh, you know a number of other clinical conditions um, that uh, could potentially uh, be helped with this technology. So, so the way the way that this works is we first schedule a SCS trial with the patient. So that involves the patient comes to the office. Um, these procedures are done under light sedation, just like we would do an epidural or other injections. Um, and for the trial, we place two little leads, which are little threads into the epidural space or the space right outside of the spine. Um, the procedure takes about 15 or 20 minutes. Um, we leave those electrodes in the epidural space for about a week. Um, patients can go home and for the most part, go about their daily activities with the trial leads in place. Um, we see patients back a week after performing the trial and then we get a sense of how effective those electrodes were in terms of reducing their, their pain levels, but also improving their functional capacity. Um, so based on patients' response to the trial, we then have a more thorough discussion about risk benefits of doing um, a permanent implant, which involves placement of the, the, the electrodes, um, and it also involves um, the uh, implantation of a small generator or battery um, just to keep the, the device uh, uh, charged. Um, and that's essentially how, how the process works. Um, the, uh, the trial, again, lasts for seven days. Um, and those seven days are going to be uh, the, um, the crucial period. And that's where we're gonna collect our information in terms of how effective this treatment um, would be for each particular patient. Um, and uh, based, on, based on the results of the trial, as I mentioned, we can um, you know, uh, discuss the risks and benefits of proceeding with a permanent implant. Um, if, if any of this sounds interesting to you, um, we'd love to hear from you. Feel free to give us a, uh, a call or check out our website at hudsonmedical.com. You're always welcome to come in and uh, make an appointment. We can talk about this face-to-face -face or any other treatment options. Um, for uh, spinal pain, spondylosis, any chronic pain condition. Uh, we have an office in Tribeca and a, a beautiful new office here in the West Village, which we're very excited about, um, and we'd love to see you here. So uh, feel free to give the office a call, and uh, we hope to see you soon.